Hello modelers, this is Neil again from Woody's Model Works. I've got an announcement to make today. Um, over the past few days, I've been working on updating the superstructure sheets A and B. And we are now on version 2.1. And I just want to explain why I've made some amendments and improvements when i did sheet g i did a little experiment with making this handrail out of brass and to my surprise it worked out really well the way it works is i etch little tiny holes in the wall and then as a separate piece of handrail you secure that in um, the good thing about it being made of brass and having the holes already there is it's very strong so if at any point in the future where you're wanting to just clean dust or whatever and knock it with a paintbrush it won't break or snap you know brass is 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 strong so as you may or may not be aware on the titanic it had a similar setup along the superstructure and also on the forward bulkheads I don't actually know what these are called, but I'm assuming it's for when um, things like loading and um, baggage and all that kind of stuff happened. It was a way of securing things and supporting things, but I don't actually know what they are. Now, on my previous version of the superstructure set, this was simply raised etch detail. And yes, it does look really good. Um, however, what I thought was, because I've added that handrail on the sheet G, I thought I would carry it over to this set as well. So now the bridge, as you can see here, we've got that detail. Cut that off, secure that in these holes. The old version, you didn't have that. It was just um, a line with little bobbles and it wasn't sat proud as you can see this would slightly sit proud and give you extra relief detail. Okay, so also on this C deck bulkhead, same thing, same idea. Again, that is new. And also along the full length of the superstructure, with this is all extra pieces. Okay, so as we can see here. That's what these holes are for, to add these. As I say, completely new with version 2.1. Some of you may have received version two, which is does have this, okay, but 2.1 also has some other further additions. So, that's that, let me now explain what the other additions, what, what makes it 2.1 as opposed to version one and version just two. Um, we've now got these bridge walls, which were the entrances going into the bridge. Okay, the, the side walls. So that gives you a scale thickness. You've got the inside wall uh, with a wood paneling and then you've got the external wall. You can still use the kit version, um, but if you want that wood panelling to match um, everything else, then that's what that's there for. Inside, on the other side of this wall, I've just got the amazing Titanic Honour and Glory demo here. There was this like lift up board. Uh, I, I'm assuming it was for things like um, looking at plans or uh, maps and things like that and they could just fold it away so back down to the PE set that's what this is this is a new edition part A 39 okay also while we're looking at this you'll see that the Titanic had two of these in the forward bridge and then the um, the wheelhouse just behind it I'm assuming this was if if there was water or something swishing. I'm using a lot of assumptions because I'm not a Titanic expert. Then raising it up 
would um, keep give give the uh, sailor uh, a secure uh, ground to stand on. So if we look here, this is another addition. We've now got those boards on the sheet. Okay, two of them. You might not see that one of them, but you'll definitely see the one inside the bridge. Um, right, what else have we got? So, on the bridge wing, we had the navigation light box just there. Again, I didn't have that included in my previous versions of this set. However, like I say, now we do. That's what this is here. You've got your fold lines just there. And then you can secure that directly onto here. Um, there's other little tweaks that I've made while I've been editing the file. I've um, raised these sections so that when you... Oh, and I've corrected this because it didn't have one here. As you can see on, the, on this demo... It only had these storm shutters at these locations. So what I've done is I've raised up only the correct ones. And then you've also got your storm shutters to add over the top of these locations. So that's that's a, that's a minor improvement. Um, the main reason why I updated the file is because this wall here on the version one i had it too long and i've had to go in and, and make this the correct length for those of you that have got version one or version two i am will be supplying this free of charge i just ask you to pay for the postage that will then correct that set okay so this 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 sheet is just a correction sheet for those that have the older version um, so it's, it, on the previous one, it was about seven mil, I think, too long. So I've now corrected that on this sheet, and it's now the correct length. Um, so anybody buying this sheet will get that, obviously, and you won't need to buy that. Oh, sorry, get that for free. Um, other little things I've done is I've created a lot more of these stanchions because I just had some room on the sheet and I thought we'll give you extra um, another add-on the bridge I've, I've got instructions for the bridge and previously it only had these raised platforms but I didn't include the handrails that go on the bridge because I was concerned it wouldn't line up everybody's model would be different then after lots of experimenting i've realized that it's got to line up when you use the, the the deck front it's everybody's should be the same so i now supply the actual wooden handrails that you would add onto here once it's been curved oh, and that's the front that's the back so that is all the differences now additions to sheet m most of the additions are on sheet a the only real addition on sheet b is having these okay now i want to be really fair with people because i appreciate there's so many of you out here that are maybe feeling a bit miffed because you've got an older version and now you wish you'd have all, all held out and bought this updated version. So I really want to do a fair thing with you guys. Anybody that has got an older version of this sheet, I would ask you to um, send me an email with your order number and I will send you back a unique discount code so that you can get these at a very special price okay you could then maybe have a sell on your previous sheets or keep them as spares or practice sets um i don't really like making money out of people more than once 
uh, for the same actual thing um, if you're going to use it on the same model obviously if you're going to build 10 models then you that's different but I think that's fair um, so if you if you'd rather have this vastly upgraded set of sheets as opposed to the ones that you currently have then the option is there and I'd be happy to help you out um, any questions please post them down below I'd be happy to help you out with anything um, and um, I look forward to seeing these sets on your model I have got about 10 of these available to ship straight away so if you want one bag it as soon as you can if you if once those 10 sets have gone it'll take about another six weeks to get some more from my photo etch company and i'm just trying to think if there's anything else i think that's everything some really fantastic detail here really pushing the extreme of what you can do with photo etch how far you can take it <laughs> the photo etch company keep pulling their air out with me because um I cause a lot of issues apparently with my designs being too intricate <laughs> but that's what I like about it that's what people want for the models so it's tough <laughs> right um, anyway have a nice weekend and um, I'll see you again soon